So Mid Journey released a new V4 model this weekend, so I think we have to check it out. In this video, I thought we were just gonna go through what is the new features of the V4. That is like small details, complex prompting and multi-objects. So let's just get started. Okay, so let's just start by looking at what is new with the V4 base model. So it's supposed to be have vastly more knowledge of creatures, places and more. Much better at getting small details right in all situations. Handles more complex prompting with multiple levels of detail. Better multi-object, multi-character scenes. Supports advanced functionality like image prompting and multi-prompts. And support chaos arg set from 1 to 100 to control the variety of image grids. So this is what we are going to be checking out in this video. We're gonna try to create some prompts that represents these new things so we can really test out this v4 model okay so the first prompt i thought we try out was in this vastly more knowledge category so i don't know if this is representative but i'm gonna go like a huge blue dragon that's the creature part spitting fire on the eiffel tower so that's like the place part and I just go Fantasy, Digital Art, Sharp Focus, V4. And for the other one, I go a large werewolf roaming the streets of Manhattan, New York. So that is the creature part and uh, the streets of Manhattan. And I'm added people running away, Digital Art, V4. So let's just run this and see what we get back. Okay, so here we have some results. This actually looks quite good. So let's just have a look and choose one a couple we can blow up to have a better look uh, so i'm just gonna upscale this and let's see what we have here this is pretty good actually uh i've been trying to get some dragons before in mid journey and they don't look that good actually uh you can clearly see that this is paris it is spitting flames on the tower uh the proportions mm, i don't know but i, I like it i can definitely see that tower and the dragon so i'm happy with this let's have a look at the werewolf roaming the streets yeah i think this is good uh you can see people running away i guess this is the the eiffel not the eiffel tower empire state building in the background so yeah okay not bad so the new model also stated that it is much better at small details so i thought i made these two prompts here uh, teenage boy watching the show Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on his TV in his basement, 1980s digital art. So the detail I went from here is, let's see if he is watching Ninja Turtles on his TV. And here I just made like a female portrait, try to be very detailed. Uh, lips are plump and inviting, soft and shiny hair, every detail of the face is perfect a small mole on the cheek so let's just see what this uh, model can do with this kind of prompts so here we were after the detail that the teenage boy was sitting in his basement looking at the tv watching teenage mutant ninja turtles so okay i like this i think this is good we got the detail kind of we wanted here with him sitting and watching the TV show. So, mm, okay, nice. And the other one was a female portrait with, it was like pumping lips and just a beautiful woman. I guess this is kind of different from the version three. That would kind of represent this more photorealistic. Uh, but yeah, it's good. Uh, definitely gonna try this out more, I guess. The next new feature this V4 model has is supposed, supposed to be complex prompting. So I went over to GPT-3 and just asked for a uh, description of a futuristic technological city in extreme detail. Uh, and I got this back. So I'm gonna run this. I would say this is kind of a complex prompt. And I did the same with uh, cyborg so this is a quite long prompt with a lot of different information so let's just run this with the v4 model and see what we get back 
So we got the cyborg pictures back. Uh, they look quite good, actually. I'm really impressed by the details. Uh, so I went and upscaled this number three here. Uh, and as you can see, the details are amazing. Uh, let me try to zoom in a bit here. The only thing you can see at as, as is stated in the model that it's lacking a bit of resolution. But you can see these details. This is going to be great when we can get a higher resolution of this. So yeah, I'm really impressed by this. This was a long and kind of complex prompt. I think it pulled it off very good. Uh, okay, so we got this futuristic city also. Uh, I think it delivered also very good on this. I'm not a personal fan of this style though. Uh, it's more of like a cartoon-ish kind of style. Kind of wanted something more realistic. But I guess it represented the prompt pretty well. So yeah. Uh, very good. The next feature I wanted to have a look at was this multi-objects characters feature. So I went to GPT-3 and asked for a description of an extremely detailed multi-character scene from the Viking Age set in Norway in a realistic digital art style. So I got this really long prompt back set on the coast of Norway, traditional Viking garb, fur leather, metal helmet, sword and axe. And there's a dragon there. So let's run this, and I also asked for a description of a multiple objects of rare artifacts collected from a hidden chest in a realistic digital art style. So I got, we got this prompt back. You can just pause if you want to read it. Uh, so I'm going to run this now, and yeah, let's see what we get. So we got the dungeon with the chest back. So yeah, I think this is good. Uh, I don't know how you... It was a bit dark actually, but you can clearly see here that there's a chest in the middle of the room and filled with artifacts. So I blew this number four up here. So, okay, maybe it was another image, but anyway, uh, it's kind of the same. Uh, you can see a lot of artifacts and stuff, but I'm, mm, I'm not so sure about this style. It's very cartoony, so I guess I had to maybe form the prompt a bit different. Uh, but I guess it represented the input quite good. Uh, but I'm more a fan of this uh, than the Viking scene set in Norway. So we got these four back and I think they all look quite actually, actually look quite good. But I really like this one. So the dragon looks awesome. And uh, I kind of see this, it should maybe have like a Viking helmet, but it's good enough. And I can clearly recognize uh, Norway here. So, okay. Impressive. And remember, this was quite a long prompt, actually. This was a scene with maybe five sentences. And it kind of captured all of it. So, oh, okay. Very promising. So the final feature I wanted to have a look at was this multi-prompt. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure what a multi-prompt was, so I asked GPT-3. And he came back with a multi-prompt is when an author uses two or more prompts to inspire a piece of writing. Uh, so why don't we just head over to GPT-3 and ask for one. So write a multi-prompt description of two extremely rare objects. Uh, like this. And submit. See what we get there. Okay. The first object is a rock that is completely green. The second object is a diamond that is in blue color. Okay. So let's copy this. So what I understand is that these kind of prompts, I think this is going to like try to <clears throat> merge these together. So let's just see what we get back. Yeah, so we can completely see that this is actually merging like this this green rock together with like a blue diamond because it kind of ended up like a green diamond. So let's try one more uh, variant of this. So here I went with the prompt. The first object is New York City. The second object is uh, Sagrada Familia. That's the famous church in Barcelona. Uh, so we got these two. I guess eight images back and I think he quite did a good job especially I like this one up in the left 
corner here because we can see like the taxis from New York and of course the skyscrapers and we have the church in the middle so I think you kind of pull it off uh, again I'm not a big fan of this style but I guess I didn't describe any style since I'm quite hyped on the new Avatar movie I kind of wanted to test out the portrait uh, from V version 4 so I kind of asked for a portrait of Neytiri from Avatar it's a blue eyed dark head uh, Navi hunter princess Neytiri is a skilled archer and warrior and let's just see what we get back if we run this hopefully it is something good wow this was awesome look at this okay this is very impressive kind of I kind of love this one I know it's not exactly like uh, Ethereum, but it looks very good. So I blew this one up. Wow. Okay, so this was very impressive. I'm going to make more of this. Okay, so let me just give you my final words on this test so far of the Mid Journey V4 model. So, okay, I guess I am quite impressed. Uh, I haven't really had time to explore it. The fully yet and remember this is just an alpha version so we're probably gonna get a higher resolution we're probably gonna get more uh, options and uh, what I'm looking for next is to get some different aspect ratios because that's a bit easier to work with now we only got the uh, one by one uh, but uh, look at this one for example it looks really good to be honest uh, it's kind of different from the version 3 that was more photorealistic i guess i haven't really tried i haven't really gotten any photorealistic images with this version 4 yet uh, but i gotta say i really like it uh, so definitely go try it out uh, i guess you can do some free testing on the v4 2 i'm not quite sure but uh, okay i gotta say i'm impressed uh, what more can you say actually uh, so this is maybe uh is this a leap forward uh, i'm not sure it might be uh, but we just have to wait and see until we get some more features so yeah uh just want to say thank you for watching check out some of my other videos up here if you want to and i'll see you again soon